Well, hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Friday and I have come, I'm in Waverly, Iowa, which is about 20-ish minutes from where I live because they're having their indoor flea market. I think they have this four times a year. I've been here several times over the years. The last time I was here though, I was able to bring my dad with me. Um, it was one of the few times he got out since he broke his back but he really wanted to come and wheeled him around and you know bought him all kinds of little whatever he saw he wanted um but um yeah I am now looking for things to sell on eBay again because I've closed my sticker and magnet shop well I've taken those items down I've rebranded and now it's clip art um, so as far as selling physical product, I don't have any more physical product on Etsy. So that is going to free up a lot more time for me because it, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work for very little profit. And again, I've talked about this a million times when I was, you know, I couldn't go anywhere, do anything. And then even after with my dad passing and grieving, it was a fun thing to do. Um, but I need to, I need to do profitable things now. So I'm going to go in and see if we can find anything to sell on eBay. I don't know how much I'll film in there because it's very busy. It's open at noon. It's 1245 now. So <sighs> I had to drive around a while, find a parking spot. But anyway, let's this go. Plaza thing. It's called The Center. I guess it's an event center. Today it's a flea market. I only brought a couple bags with me. She usually is pretty good with vintage. Um, there's usually a few crafters and like MLMs here, but mostly it's vintage. So, ooh. Ooh, and they'll have another one in January and March. I, it's a terrible habit, isn't it? It's a horrible habit. Um, 41. I don't know how much I can really film in here. I don't want to hang out here forever with all these people. <laughs> so, but it's busy, busy. Lots of stuff. Got this booth, that's the Pyrex people. And they have homemade salsa. lovely pieces and I think they're priced fair. They're retail but it's fair. That's what they are. I love that pink set. I always think if I was like had a lot of money I'd come here and every time I come I buy something. <laughs> but I can't afford that but that's okay. It's nice to look. Oh the discount corner. <laughs> the cream fading on the on the uh, paint, which is common. So far I found a couple lunch boxes and a bag of ornaments. I really wish I would have brought my mask. There's so much coughing going on. I'm just like, ugh. ugh. Lot of boosts with nice things, but at retail, so. Just kinda kinda dig. Some people are here to like get rid of stuff. Other people are here because they're dealers. So, every boost different, or every, they're pretty big um, sections too set up here like this stuff has reasonable prices oh is that vintage the handle is missing bummer 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 some guy in the back was selling petrified wood or something and some lady asked oh how much it is like two hundred dollars like oh well it's worth this much I'm like oh my gosh People, people, people. I had to make a trip out to the car to unload. So, so far I've spent $22, so not bad. I'd say about 40% of the vendors have, you know, pricing for, that you can get for resale. Um, look at this, only a dollar for the Snoopy garbage can. That was a fun booth. I think you get people that like just live here and they're kind of like, it's a garage sale. And then you have the dealers, you know? So 
<sighs> it's everybody's coughing. One one woman I checked down like, oh, you're smart to wear a mask. I said, everybody in there is coughing. I mean, people are like snotting everywhere. I don't know if I have a mask. I'm going to see if I do and then I'm going to wear one because it's not Ooh, good. Had masks in the car. I don't understand why people go out when they're sick and people do not cover their mouths. Everybody, when they were masked, coughed in the mask. It's like, let's remember people were not wearing masks anymore. So cover your damn mouth. If your nose is running all over the place, don't come out. Ugh. What is wrong with people? If you're sick, stay home. And this is the kind, I know not everybody can stay home if they're working. This is not, these are women out shopping and sneezing and snotting and men coughing. Ugh. Okay, done at the flea market. The last booth I went to, she's such a nice lady, but she had garage sale stickers on everything and she wanted to take each sticker off and then add it up. And then she was like, did I get them all? It took so long for her to like, she kept double checking. Oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss something and oh, da, da. If you're having a garage sale or a set and you have the stickers, just write the prices down. I don't understand taking the stickers off. Just make a paper if you wanna write it down and just write it down. Like you don't take the stickers off. Anyway, um, I just got a bunch of little stuff. Um, you know, you go about, I said about half the people there had them things that were reasonable, but honestly, it was probably, well, maybe that. But a lot of, oh, half of it was, you know, I think these people just like to go to shows and they just drag their stuff from show to show because it's ridiculously priced. They'll have signs. It's on eBay for this. We all know that if you want eBay prices, you need to sell it on eBay. And if it's, Make sure you're looking at the solds, not the listing. And also, if you want top dollar for your item, at least clean it. Stuff is so dirty. I'm like, clean it. You want retail? Clean it. Anyway, I'm now going to go into Trinkets and Togs over here, my favorite little thrift store. So we'll see what I can find in here. But I am going to mask again because, ew, the sickness is everywhere. Ugh. I'm gonna take a shower when I get home. So far, it's pretty slim pickings. I'm getting this for five, I think. I don't even even look at it. Up. Oh my God, the coffee. This is a nice set, but why is each piece? Yes, I carry a cloth, cause ew, why is each one marked separately? That seems strange. Nobody wants sugar and creamer sets anymore. I mean, some people do, but not really. Ugh. They have some nice Christmas things up front, but they're really marked way up. Aw, he's cute. A dollar fifty. What is that? Oh, I thought it was Disney World. That's not Disney World. Oh, that's not Disney World. No, no, no. I will never not look at coffee mugs. Because you just never know when there might be a good one. Hmm. Oh, these are worthless. People get them all the time. They are worthless as tits on a boar. Just saying. Putting this back, it's worthless. I just put it in my cart because I didn't know what else to do. Okay, found a few things in there. It has gotten very, they used to have really good prices on everything. It's definitely, they are pricing higher. Um, you, you know, and listen, if they can get it, that's fine. They support adults with intellectual disabilities. So obviously that's a cause that we care about with my oldest brother, but, um, like when you see things that have been there for like months at this point, <laughs> you know, like start high, but then maybe come down a little. But anyway, it was really slim pickets. I, there was this box of ornaments, Hallmark, and I was like going through them. Then this lady came over. See, they, they have some paid employees, but they also have volunteers. And she just like started grabbing all the ornaments out. She was putting them on a table. Okay, that's fine. But I'm like, I'm clearly looking at them. I was like, a little aggressive there, are we? Anyway, it is time to head home. It is 2.39.
So the puppies, we had our first pee on the couch on the kickstand. They were both sniffing over there. And then I said, what are you doing? I went over there and felt it. It was wet. So I know, I know it was Teddy. I had put the blanket so they, you know, came all the way down to the floor. But I was like, oh, maybe I don't need to. Yep, should have done it. So that's why I have to cover stuff because Teddy, and then when Teddy does it, Charlie will do it. Teddy is just a nervous little boy and he just is a territory marker. And when, that, when he does that, he's just marking, marking, marking. He's, you know, we, we're we trying some Prozac like stuff for him, but then he was having problems with his allergies again. So we've taken him off that and maybe we'll try it again when we get the allergy under control, but something to just kind of help him calm down a little and not be so anxious. But anyway, I'm going to go home and spend the rest of the day snuggling with the dogs, but I'll show you everything I got too. Once I get home now, the puppies were so good. I'm going to turn the heat up, warm the house up. Woo! Papa would have been so cold. <sighs> okay. That's from yesterday. Um, so i going to unpack what I got. I also got to figure out how much I spent. Obviously, this needs to be clean, but they only had five bucks, and it has the thermos in it. Um, I can't get it open with one hand. And then the pound puppies, same thing, has the thermos. Um, just a little, this is Dennis the Menace, little bowl. And then they had this one with the three little pigs. just thought that was, I can't, I just love the baby stuff. Like, I just can't not. This little thing, this is, it's the potpourri. He only had 50 cents on it. I love the ones that they were like a garage sale more than the dealers, but I'll unload everything and we can look at it all together. Hi, Charlie. Were you such a good boy while I was gone? You were, you were, yeah. Hi, Teddy. Were you okay while I was gone? I'm so glad I have the security cameras installed now because I can see. Um, and here, and actually talk through that. Um, and it covers not only this whole room, but also you can see in the kitchen too. So we love it, don't we, Charlie? I try not to talk to them because they get so confused when I do that, but I can um, turn it on and hear them. Yeah, I can, you were good. You were napping, yeah, and snuggling. They love the new couch. They absolutely love it. This is where Teddy peed. So I've cleaned and sprayed, but this is why, you know, this was a really good deal, but I also know that like, it's not gonna last that long when you got dogs and that's okay because they live here and they're my bebas. So anyway, let's go back to unloading everything. Okay, here's everything laid out. I also need to figure out how much money I spent. <laughs> um, so there's the lunch boxes. This Buddha, this is the thing that is, probably going to bring me the most money out of everything here should be 40 or 50 bucks I think they had apparently others you're like oh another Buddha soul I'm like dang it why didn't I know there were more here but they're like yeah I've sold two three whatever. anyway a couple keepy dolls that was at the thrift store this was at the thrift store and uh, what else did I get at the thrift store oh a few little hallmark ornaments here I think I'm not sure. I know those three. Um, this Snoopy uh, little garbage bag. So cute as that. That was at the flea market. Flea market. And these glasses I got at the thrift store. I don't know if they're worth anything. I just love them. So this is how it is. Listen, I will look stuff up. And if it's worth a lot, then I'll sell it. If it's not, it's kind of like, eh, I'll keep it. Little potpourri press thing. This is a Dennis the Menace bowl. This, I just, it was 50 cents. It's Roman. Ugh, dirt. This is funny. One is false graph. That, and then the other one is with the embossed. But they are the exactly the same. It's kind of funny how they're, you know, they, the molds change out in the production. This is a Hallmark. This I did get, even though the strap was broken, but it is a vintage one. So I was like, eh, it's only a dollar. This, I just thought was so cute. This is, oh, please don't, it's not Avon, is it? Made in Japan. Oh, the art of choking. Anyway, I just thought that was beautiful. I've never seen 
these before. It was a McDonald's toy, Smurf. It's Payo, um, but made in China. So 2017, I guess that was that Smurf movie, but I've never seen these before. And I love the Smurfs. Um, these two little bunnies. I can't read what it says on the bottom. A uh, bag of just random shit, two bucks on. I'm like, sure. Papa would have loved that. Going through all the bags. This is, my eyes are shot, y'all. My eyes from screens are just shot. So if I show you the bottom, you're going to have to, that's a Nesco. That I can read. Season's greetings. I love these little things. I have one. I think it's in my cedar chest from when I was a kid. So I got three that they had, and I'm going to have to use, oh, no, that's tape. And they're Nesco. This, I just thought was so precious, and it has dashed on the bottom. Um, no mark for the marker, maker's mark, just a little tin. Um, tin box company. This is so funny because uh, when I had my gift basket business, I bought tin box company products for my gift baskets. Just one of these little shelf or ornament hooks. This is stuff from before. Little vintage candle because I can't help myself. These are Hummel little ornaments still in the box. This little set of squirrel is a squirrel salt and pepper shaker. Blech. With the little spaghetti heads. So cute. This is Franklin Mint, I believe. Yeah. Poodle. Must have been a set. Like you got all the different dogs or something. I've never seen horses with the chains. I've never seen these before. Made in Japan. Um, so that was awesome. I uh, got this. She had a couple others. One had a big chip in it, and the other was kind of lightweight. This was the one that had the most heft and was in the best condition. Some Hallmark ornaments, because I love Hallmark. I love this. It's so cute. Again, if these aren't worth anything, I will keep them. A Lennox. I love picking up Lennox. This is a little made in Japan. Um, the little candle potpourri set thingy. That's the technical term. This ceramic polar bears made in Taiwan, so they are vintage. Look at these things. These are cute. They're ornaments, and they are all different, and they're adorable. A music box, because I'm obsessed with music boxes, and it was only 50 cents. Um, then this set with the chains with the dogs, again, made in Japan. I need to figure out that breed. And then a little set of these bunny salt and pepper shakers. These are made in Brazil. A lot of people had salt and pepper shakers. They're just a little... I'm not... Salt and pepper shakers aren't my uh, wheelhouse, um, so I'm never quite sure, so I don't like to spend very much on them. But anyway, that I think that's a good haul. That's a good haul for a day of sourcing. So I ordered a couple of reusable um, soap dispenser bottles from Amazon. It was a two-pack, and then I can get the um, soap from Sam's Club. I used to do this, and then, you know, when things just got bad with my dad, I was like... Anything that was easy, so I'd just get the individual soap. Oh, no! My light just went out. Oh, man, I need a ladder. Blah. Anyway. Um, they're pl I thought they were glass. They're plastic. But anyway, what's funny is um, I used to have bottles like this, and my dad was obsessed with filling them to the point where he would refill them even if they didn't, if they didn't need it, but he'd take them into the living room with the funnel and refill it. So I would come into the kitchen, go to wash my hands, no soap. It would drive me bonkers. I'm like, Dad, I appreciate you refilling the soap bottles, but do we have to do it every single day? He did. He really enjoyed it. <laughs> so anyway, one for my bathroom and one for the kitchen. Guess who just changed the light bulb and set the clock back a week later? Me. <laughs> I was able to get in there and clean it out. I shocked myself at one point. I also, I also was screwing the light bulb in for a while and it wasn't screwing into the hole. I don't, I was like, I don't know. I was just turning it into the, to the air, but I got that changed and the clock. Teddy, are you so impressed? Say, yeah, mom. These two, I tell you what, they love this furniture. I've been in my office working and they've just been out here hanging out. They're like, thanks mom for buying this for us. 
I think they like it because it's just so roomy and they can be up here but have their own space because they will have times where they kind of cuddle but they also both like to really stretch out when they're sleeping and they just have plenty of room and we've got all the cozy blankets so I've actually been able to move my computer back in my office and type there which is a little more comfortable right you're doing so well now don't more peeing on it but otherwise we're good right you love it Aww. So cute. Also, they called today and my dishwasher is being delivered on the 21st, two days before Thanksgiving. I'll take it. Um, so, still hand washing things. So that's okay. Okay, let's talk about my ring doorbell, shall we? Let's, let's talk about it. I don't understand. This thing drains power within 24 hours. I've turned off the motion settings. Basically, I just have it set where you ring the doorbell and it dies. I had one before. It would, I don't understand what's going on. Is it defective? Like, it's one of these where I have to bring it in and plug it in. I, I just don't understand what to do. Is anybody else having issues with the new ring doorbells just draining the power? I'm like, am I missing? I've done all the troubleshooting. I just don't know what to do. It's so frustrating. Look, I made a brownie pie. I got these um, packets of brownie mix at Dollar Tree the other day. So they're basically like a half. They're the kind that you would normally at the store, it would make um, a nine by 16. So these basically make like a eight by nine. And I was like, I'm gonna put it in a round pan. And look, it's a piece of brownie pie. You could like put, oh wow, that's thin. You could like put stuff on top, whipped cream, chocolate sauce. I don't have either. Well, I guess I have chocolate sauce. I don't wanna do that. It would be nice with some whipped cream, wouldn't it? Look at that. Okay, it's not really coming out, but you get the idea. Like. It's the thought that counts. Hey, this looks like I've got one eBay order. I've been relisting the things that I ended because I'm inventorying. Inventory. -e 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 and I just listed this last night. Is it this one? Yes. Somebody sent me an offer for $15 and I took it. So I've put best offer on everything and made exclusively by Madison Avenue. I have no idea. But it is a pewter ornament set. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. It's a pewter ornament set. I believe I got it in a, uh, I don't want to say, I just said liquidation, not liquidation, and an online auction, local auction. Pretty sure that's where it came from. Anyway, I accepted an offer of $15 and the buyer is paying for shipping. And in another example of what is going on with my brain, didn't have to open the box. It has a door with a window. Good grief. 